We live in a world that constantly pressure us to say yes to invitations, requests and demands on our time. But what happens when we stretch ourselves too thin? Today we will explore why saying no is not just okay but necessary for our well-being, productivity and self-respect. Welcome back to Art to Heart podcast. I am your host Rana. Today we are diving deep into the topic that's often overlooked but absolutely essential. It is the master ring the art of saying no. As someone who is not a people pleaser myself, it's often difficult for me to say no for certain people or certain invitations because we often hesitate about the feeling of the other people who are going to listen the word no it's often looked as someone you're stubborn you don't respect others or you don't really care for what they are offering for you but in reality if you are someone who is not a people pleaser and if you are someone who is not looking for any appreciation if you are saying no definitely you will have a multiple time of that questions in your head and then eventually you'll come to an answer saying no it is not good for my health it is not good for my work it is not good for my whatever you are up to maybe you just don't want to spend time on people who are not going to add value in your life but looking at this modern world even though we are accustomed to our scroll scroll life where we are constantly looking for affirmations where we are constantly looking for uh, likes and shares and the rest but still we are someone deep down where we want to say no but we have definitely not worked on that art um because a lot of time it's usually we think of what other people are going to think of us and what will be our uh, overall appearance to them but once i was reading the book keep going i came across this chapter girl learn how to say no and austin clone very beautifully talks about the fomo and the jomo effect fomo is definitely fear of missing out and we often end up saying yes even though we don't feel like saying no just because what if we may not be a part of the current um trend or the generations or uh, the latest um movies or any other updates for that matter and jomo is definitely where he clearly calls about the joy of missing out and how we can actually enjoy ourselves uh, by missing those important moments just so that you have your own peace of mind over the peace of trend First let's talk about why saying no is so important. Saying yes can feel good in the moment. It can make us feel helpful or light, but overcommitting can lead to burnout, stress and resentment. Some of the research inside actually shows that people who struggle to say no often experience higher level of stress. They are more likely to feel overwhelmed and less satisfied with their lives. One of my own personal reflection is I remember the time when i was uh happened to be a part of multiple project because i said yes not just because i want to be good in my workplace just because i was not able to say no because i was new to my corporate world instead of that i was totally burned out and i had such a emotional mental breakdown at the middle of a work day i happened to reach out to my manager saying that i can't continue for the next week because i feel like i had too much on my plate which i would have shared initially when they were asking for like can you be a part and you would have politely declined so saying yes in first place is often appreciated but at the same time if you look at the long outrun of any project or any of your personal commitment it's going to burn out you and you eventually will end up hating yourself what are some of the psychological barriers of a saying no so let's why is it so hard to say no even though we know it's a no as an answer first of all we have fear of rejection like i said a fomo fear of missing out we fear that saying no will lead to rejection or hurt someone's feeling second is often the guilt i think this is one of the biggest devil in the plate we often feel guilty for prioritizing our own needs over others and the third is desire for acceptance many of us want to be seen as team players or accommodating so one of the tip would be to combat these feelings to reframe your mindset instead of seeing no as a negative response consider it a way to create space for what truly matters to you and also there are few strategies you can actually implement in your day to day life so how are we going to do and what is really holding us back is 
I, I remember listening to one of Tim Ferriss' uh, podcasts where he talk how we can gracefully say no. I will leave the link down below to it as well. But here are some of my tips, okay? Be direct and polite. Thank you for thinking of me, but I can't take that on right now. Or add some positive response to that. Say no, but at the same time say maybe in the future I'll definitely be able to take that request. And you can also give them an offer alternative. It is like if it is a request that you can't fulfill suggest someone else who might be able to help this keeps the spirit of collaboration alive and also practice makes perfect right start small say no to minor requests first and build your confidence for example in my scenario i definitely say no so casually nowadays people just think all i could say is no 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 but in reality i have done a billion of the reason and then i have come to an answer as no but you can start by saying no if and if your workplace even if it is your personal life you can say no i can't make it today because i have my work to do okay you don't have to set your reason out there openly but at the same time you can be a little bit opening up yourself towards all this action of no and also make sure to set boundaries define what you can and cannot admit to ahead of time which will make it easier to decline requests that don't align with your priorities so just you being direct but polite also use an offer alternative you can bring in someone else into the palette say they will be kind of help and practice makes perfect like you start very small not thinking okay i'm gonna decline this entire project say them i can't send the report today maybe day after tomorrow i am occupied currently and fourth is definitely you're setting up boundaries yourself i can't make the report today because i'm occupied in my work i will be doing the dispatch in next two or 48 hours once you start implementing the art of saying no in your life, you will actually start seeing the benefits also. So here are some of the key benefits of saying no. First, you will see improved mental health of yours. Saying no reduces stress and anxiety by preventing work commitment and allowing you to focus on what truly matters. Second is definitely enhanced time management. By prioritizing your commitment, you free up time for activities that align with your goals and values, leading to more productive days. Third is increased self-respect. Establishing boundaries foster a sense of self-worth and reinforce the idea that your needs are important. I think we have often been taught about how to be a selfless rather than being selfish. But when it comes to a term of saying no, you actually call a self-respect rather than selfish. So if people think you're selfish, you can actually correct them or let them consider until they realize that you are gaining your boundaries of self-respect rather than selfishness. And also you will have a better relationship. Honest communications about your limits can lead to more genuine and respectful connection with others as they come to understand and appreciate your boundaries. Number five is a great focus and greater focus and clarity. With fewer distraction and obligation, you can concentrate on your passions and project leading to higher quality of work and fulfillment. I do remember few people having this process where if they have any appointment, if they have any commitment, they kind of waste their entire morning, afternoon over that, which is going to be in nine. But if you are really not going to be happy about whatever you have committed you are wasting an entire day over that so definitely you will get back your focus and clarity and sixth is your empowerment mastering the ability to say no empowers you to take control of your life fostering confidence and assertiveness in all areas this is really what i have found in over a period of time just by saying no i can't be a part of certain events i can't be a part of certain uh, travel i can't be a part of many things so it has definitely felt me empowered because i was able to do much greater work than what i have been previously doing you will have an enhanced decision making with clearer priorities you can make more informed choices leading to better outcomes in both personal and professional realms also, you will have a protection of energy. Saying no helps preserve your mental and emotional energy, allowing you to engage more fully in the commitments you choose to accept. Number ninth is encouragement of independence. It cultivates a sense of autonomy, helping you recognize that you don't need to please everyone or meet every expectation placed upon you. 
this is something as a Indian, as a woman, I'm not gender bashing anyone here. Every, each and every one of us go through this where you are struggling to have that independence, saying, sorry, we can't come to your place. We can't attend this event. We won't be a part of this uh, gathering. And it is very difficult to say if you belong to a big part of a group and eventually you're prioritizing your self-respect your work your time based on those because you definitely know going there is not going to add much of a value definitely is going to bring your mood down you're going to be sad for the next two days if all this thing being a part of that certain event make sure you start with a very small step saying i can't commit to this i am committed to some appointment which you happen to have on that day number 10 is setting an example by modeling assertiveness you inspire others to establish their own boundaries creating a healthier more respectful environment overall so i think it has more benefit of saying no it has more benefit of mastering the art of no than mastering the art of is. That's what I have come to a conclusion. Rather than trying to impress people or do something which is going to bring your entire mental health to ground or entire your well-being to ground, it is not worth it. And it is okay uh, to accept that not everyone is going to like you. Not everybody is going to appreciate you. There will, there will always be someone who is not going to be happy with you. So you can't change few people's perspective on you. you should just let it go sometime there's this beautiful uh, book about the courage to be disliked and if you happen to come across or if you have read this wonderful if you're not i encourage you to read that book because i think it's kind of a superiority to start accepting of yourself whoever you are however you are whatever you are doing you are doing out of your own self-respect and you are doing this for your well-being and not everybody should be applauding you over a period of time if you look at current youtube or instagram there are a lot of people who are saying school has not taught us this way or this has not taught us this way we can't be like this there's so much thing you learn through school and there's so much thing you start learning about life once you are done educating yourself and all this thing till my high college my life was absolutely perfect the moment i start stepping into the real world that's when i realized that not the not the entire world is just a paper and pen and a test it's more of your complexity it's more of how you're handling the toughest situation stress management and how are you going to solve this problem and it is more than the more difficult than a cubic puzzle you can learn a cubic puzzle in 15 days but to uh, start appreciating your daily life and start being a part of life which you actually want rather than being looked after people to what they are going to say about your decision you should actually be focusing on what you are going to make an impact than those people in your life so mastering the art of saying no is not just about declining request it is a profound act of self-empowerment and boundary setting in a world that often equates busyness with worthiness learning to say no allows you to reclaim your time and energy prioritizing what truly matters to you it transforms the narrative from one of obligations to one of choice enabling you to engage fully with your passions and commitments without the weight of resentment when you say no you send a clear message to yourself and others your needs and boundaries are valid and worthy of respect embracing the skill not only enhances your well-being but also paves the way for more authentic and fulfilling relationships, fostering an environment where everyone can thrive. You don't have to adjust to anything. You are actually doing absolutely wonderful. You just have to make people understand that you're not commit and committed to what they are requesting for. As the writer Annie Lamott beautifully puts it, no is a complete sentence. You don't owe anyone an explanation. Thanks for tuning in to today's podcast. Remember, saying no is a skill worth mastering. Until next time, take care of yourself and don't be afraid to prioritize your own needs. See you all in the next one. Bye-bye.